Hello everyone, welcome to Cocoon. This is a game I've had my eye on for quite a bit. It's apparently a puzzle adventure where we can like travel to different worlds, but each world is like an orb that we can carry with us and I can hot swap between them at any time I want. Which well, seems pretty cool, so time for another cool little puzzle adventure game. Let's go ahead and hop in. Also apparently made by the gameplay designer of uh, Limbo and Inside. So we may see some parallels to those games, which I really, really like. Oh yeah, there we are. Beautiful. Just being born. Look at me. What am I? Like, uh... I mean, I, I, that, that seems like a cocoon. I, I would say, or a chrysalis, but I actually don't admittedly know the difference between a cocoon or a chrysalis. But we have, like, little wings and stuff. I don't know if we're, like, a little moth... ...butterfly character... something? I'm not- I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Smarter people know the dif the difference between those. Not me. So... Alright, um... I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything right off the bat. Because, uh, these games do normally have, uh, secrets and stuff like that. So, just want to make sure we're not missing anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is going to be one of those games that's going to explain nothing, and I just have to kind of futz around and figure my, figure, figure it out, huh? I think that is going to be the case. Okay, nothing there, nothing there. Alright, so... Pretty much all that's left is just to go down that staircase. Of course, there's another staircase over here. Which leads to, like, an overlook at this area? I don't suppose, I haven't really mashed any... many buttons yet. Doesn't look like I have, like, a jump or anything like that, though. All right, all right, good to know, good to know. No! Stairs! Why have you forsaken me? All right, don't know why I'm singing Chop Suey, but... Hi. Ooh, my wings vibrate. Vibrating wings? Oh, okay, now a jumps, and it was like a... Yeah, it was like an- but I can't just jump any time, that was just kind of activating the button. It seems. I feel like I've already missed something. Like, there's other areas I can see, like down here, but I don't know if I can access that right now. Maybe I can, maybe I can't, we'll see. Anything over here? No. Look at the little bugs! I love- I love the, like, low-poly look of this. It's very nice. Low poly and uh, like, you know, like, like pixel art and stuff. I love it so, 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 so much. There's just so much you can do with like some good low poly. And they usually use a lot of pastels and things like that in low poly art, I feel, so. Another reason why it's really, really cool to me. Okay, so do I just. A to pick up. Uh, Ew, I don't like that it's stretchy. Like that. And you popped out of there? Weird. You know, that's something else that I always find really cool. Like, when mechanics and organic come together. Like, this to me looks like a mechanical thing, but it has like a weird fleshy organic looking appendage associated with it. I guess I should have played Scorn when that happened. Look at my little friend! Oh, you're so cute! Look at you! Kinda reminds me of like a... It kinda reminds me of like a trilobite. Except less legs, I guess. But like little... I don't know, or, or like a... Uh, a horseshoe crab? Kinda too, with like the shape? Yeah. I'm sorry to all of the zoologists out there that are like, No, it's none of those things! <laughs> Alright, uh... Boom. Uh... 
so I can't help but notice I could have gotten over there by walking on that. Okay, and then we have like little floating things down there. Like, what are those? I love like proper alien kind of creatures, you know? Like, I guess the closest thing I can compare those to in our world is like jellyfish. But they have like a weird little kind of cage or exoskeleton around them, it looks like. Okay, so if I do this and then come over here, that allows me to get that over here. Then I can take this back to get over here. Now the question is, do I want to do this or do I want to go to the right? Ooh, this feels like progress. I think I want to go to that right area. <clears throat> That's what it feels like, at least. So what's up here, if anything? Nothing? Okay, never mind. I think I was going right the first time. God, it's nice to be playing a game like this again. Just, like, fumble around, slowly kind of figure things out. Like I said, I love this kind of stuff. At least the new Little Nightmares game has uh, been announced, too, so I'll have that to look forward to. Oh, we have to hold. We have to hold for this. And I vibrate my little wings. Well, that's nice. Okay. Hi. Don't even know what that is. It looks like a drop ship or like a, you know, like a, like a... Okay, well that's not sinister music at all. Yeah, it looks like a like a dropship. Looks like it would open up and like a swarm of aliens would come pouring out. Oh great. Oh great. Okay. Random uh random like little fidget spinner slash boomerang shaped <laughs> Not not boomerang, I guess, but fidget spinner shaped uh things. They're like diamonds with flat edges instead of a point. Which kind of makes me think of fidget spinners a little bit. Even though fidget spinners are round. So I hit all of these and... <clears throat> that, uh, that looks like teeth. Oh my god, that looks like the mouth of a giant sandworm that's currently living underground. I don't want to step in that. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, definitely some weird, weird creatures. That was like a... A moth or something, and it had a bunch of eyeballs on its wings, and then the eyeballs turned into something. I <laughs> so I can't leave or go anywhere. I don't even really know what that was, but it got put in here. Oh, okay. So this is what it means by carrying the different worlds with me. When it said carry on your back, I kind of thought I would have a backpack or something, to be honest, and I would just kind of carry them in that. But no, I guess this is what it means by carrying the different worlds on your pack. And then I can kind of, uh, yeah, like hot swap them, mix and match them to combine the elements of different worlds together to solve puzzles. Like if there's a pipe that I need in one world, I can put it, yeah. This seems cool already. I'm already very, very, very much into this. Let's walk down here and see if there's... Okay, this, this appears to be a waste of time dead end. Good, good. Tip tap, tip tap, tip tap, tip tap. Okay, nothing. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Putting the world there creates a bridge. Ooh, but what about up here? How do I do that one? Is there any way to. I don't think so. At least not from here. Okay, so let's put that there. Maybe I maybe I have to come back and grab it. Yeah, because obviously I'm gonna need that more. Maybe that's what this thing is for. The little hovering platform over there. 
Look at these little, uh... Like, they look like, um... Nuclear power plants. The, like, you know, kind of... Uh, funnel-looking thing with uh, an open top smoke coming out of it. Yeah, they look like reactors. Reactor would be a word, too. Okay, so that gets me over here, so now I can grab you. And we can transport you back. I have not been up long today, so hopefully I'm not being too much of a dummy. Puzzle games are always a toss-up on whether I'll, I'll be especially dumb or not. Well, honestly, that's just any game. That's not even just puzzle games. Okay... Uh, nothing to do up there. Is there anything to do this way? I'm still expecting, like, collectibles, because, like, these games usually have, like, some sort of little collectible that, you know, you mostly just get for achievements, but... I still like to collect them anyway. Okay. Ah, that door wasn't even open. I, I didn't even parse that. So I needed to do that anyway. Alright. This definitely reminds me of, like... You know... Um, like, Mist... Um... You scorn that that kind of puzzle solving where you're just thrown into a place that gives you no explanation at all, and you kind of just have to fiddle with things to find out how they work because it's otherworldly, which I very very much like. Ah, I see. Okay, put you on there, and then yeah, okay, okay. I'm kind of seeing we have different paths, so I need to get that over there. Which means I need to come up here and oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Now what that does that. Okay. Yeah, and this does that. Otherwise it'll just spit it out right there. Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing what I need to do. So I need to hit that top one, that one, and then I'll need to run down here and hit this one before the ball catches up to me. Or the world, rather. Uh-huh. Make sure it's through. Come over here, hit this one. Yeah, it's just a little, little ball in the tunnel. Gonna take you for a ride. Ba -na -na -na, ba -na -na -na, bam. There we go. I did it. Look at me, not getting stuck on a puzzle in episode one. Of course, we still have 15 minutes left, so got to be careful saying that, but... Okay, there's a little thingy over there. Ooh, Ooh there's two, though. Ah... I see. I see. That's what you want? How do I get up to that area up above? If I can, because there's like a little bridge that goes across here. I just can't help but look at that. It's probably nothing that I can interact with right now, but the fact that it's so prominently featured here makes me wonder. Alright. Let's just continue this way. Alright. Down. Ooh, wait, there was something over there. Okay, it's nothing. Yeah, there's a lot of places you can walk that don't particularly have anything. But you can walk to them. Okay, this looks like another giant sandworm buried under the ground. Concerning. <laughs> Okay, it just ate it. Um, oh, okay, it gave it, it gave it back to me though, because I was like, um, there's a thingy over here, and I want to know what this is too. Oh god, this game is cool. <gasps> no, uh oh, uh oh, my my sense, my my need to explore. Oh, okay, this might just be a single puzzle room though. I might even need to do this. Okay. 
if I pull this, is this like a... No, it's not. I, th I was wondering if it was like a timer. Like I had to do something by the end of that, but... There must be a combination. It must be a combination. There's a symbol right there. But that doesn't pertain to anything. Oh. Wait. Okay, no, that's not it either. I was looking at these towers and how high they were stacks. So, you see, like, this one has two. And then I saw that there were triangles in front of some of them. So I was like, maybe the triangles are numbering which ones I should do. Because there's these little triangles drawn in, like, the stuff here. I can't do anything with those. Yeah, and then there's one triangle, one triangle, three. Hmm. I'm looking for, like, any identifying symbols. I mean, there's this. That is the symbol that is on there. Oh, that's why I turn it. There's another symbol on the side. I see. I see. Okay, so now there's, like, weird prickly lollipop. Now there's weird prickly lollipop, which is this one. Yeah. And then if we go down here, there's you. Then if we go over here, there's this one, which looks like a butterfly. Then if we go here, there's that one. Yeah. Is that it? That's what you wanted. Hey, I was so obsessed with these things because they look so striking and interesting. But that's actually what we needed to do. Is this a new world? Maybe? No? Drone friend? <laughs> oh my god, this game's so cool. <laughs> okay, okay, drone drone friend is not what I expected. I thought we were getting another orb. Ooh, you can make those go down. Oh, that's interesting. So we basically just got a new ability. Okay. So what do you do? That lets me go back in that place. So I must need to go in here to solve something. Yeah? Yeah, if I hold A over here, I can dive- That's so cool. Okay. Okay, I am in. Yeah, and now- Okay. Now we can, uh, get through here because I have drone friends. So I need a drone friend before I could do this. I'm already enamored. I'm already incredibly, incredibly enamored. Yeah, yeah, because we got locked in there. Oh, you can activate the drop pod. Hole? Not a drop pod. That's the key to the door. So, so pretty. I love when games do so many cool, cool things with like just visuals and aesthetics like this. This is why I will never, ever grow tired of indie games. Because they do so many cool things like this. You can do so many cool things with like, like, you know, not, not every single thing for, for the purpose of art needs to have, like, incredibly high resolutions and increasingly, increasingly higher budgets, um, that make the game not actually turn a profit because you straight up use so much money to make it, there's no way it could turn that much profit. Um, sometimes you can just make a nice, cool game on, like, a budget if needed. Not to say this game was made on a budget, but it's definitely made less than AAA games are. And look at how cool this is. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll always like indie games the most, I'll be honest. I just love them so, so much. And they do so many interesting things that you can't do when you're uh, a part of like a big, large company that uh, wants to constantly entertain shareholders. <gasps> buddy! Little, little, little buddy. All of these, uh, all of the creatures in this give me like bug feels. Even though they're like very much alien, machine, organic. Now that's something I kind of like, I'm, I've realized over time. I like bug machines, like, like little worker spider drones and things like that. Is it, is it like practical? I, I don't know. It might not be as pra- it, you know, it might be like the transformer issue where it's like, why would humanity ever actually ever build transformers for combat? It's incredibly impractical to made it to have it made after the human image. You'd be better off just making like a tank or something that travels on treads. But and maybe the same thing is true for like spider robots and things like that, but I like it. It's visually cool. God. The low poly look of this also does really, really striking me, strikingly remind me of, uh, uh, what was it, Death's Door? The, uh, the Crow game? Because it had a very, very similar appearance as well. Hi? Uh-oh. Speaking of things that look like a bug... Well, I just got an achievement. <gasps> I saw that. You had a, you had a new, you had a new world on your back. So there's a world within this world. Oh god, how far does it go? What if there's a world inside of that world, and a world inside of the world inside of that one, and... <laughs> oh! Angry, angry... Angry... Flying insect crystals? <laughs> They're like electric... Flies? That have big eyeballs? So those are the things that came off the one thing that I saw is back, right? Or, or, or it's wings. The, the, like, moth creature that had, like, eyes on its wings? I think that's what that's from. Hello. So we have another... We have another worm mouth and or butt. That is a giant black hole diamond menacingly vibrating in the air. Hi. Uh-oh. Uh, hello. Uh-oh. What is this? What is this? Oh, I got it. Oh, I had to stomp on it. Oh! Okay, it was a bomb. <laughs> no way, what? Is this a boss fight? What? <laughs> we have boss fights? I don't have a dodge or anything. So, okay. We're just doing this with the- oh. Okay, all I have is the ability to press A, which is how I pick up my bombs, and how I... Ow! You got me! Whoa, and if it catches you, you just get thrown out. Okay. Uh-huh, alright. Let's dive back in and give that another attempt, I suppose. Alright, let's see if we can win. So yeah, that's... It's a one-hit kill kind of thing. What an interesting looking creature. Get off of me. So those are just meant to slow you down. Like the stupid things in Wind Waker. You know the ones. Come here, you. Yeah. Oh, okay, that was way too soon, so... The, the explosion doesn't hurt me specifically. That's something I need to keep in mind. So, I can wait until it gets close to me, or wait until it stops. To hit it like so. Yeah, there we go. Alright. I, I did not expect boss fights. Of course, I mean, these kinds of puzzle games, I feel, usually have boss fights. It's just from a puzzle perspective. It's more so a puzzle itself than it is any sort of, like, reflex-intensive, uh, you know, skill challenge. It's just more like, can you identify the problem and solve it? Which, which I like. 
I do like a fair bit. Dang. Yeah, that's right. Run, coward. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm sorry. You know, I said some things, and I apologize for saying such things. Okay. Okay, this is different. This is very, very much different. Okay. Now, what does it want me to do? I expected there to be another one of the things that popped up. There it is. We gotta get over there. Got it. I did it? Now are you <laughs> Yeah, that's right, coward. Hee <laughs> hee. Never doubted myself. Okay. I'm going to assume this is what possibly saves, maybe? Me taking this out? I'm going to hope that's what saves the game, because right now I have no idea. Come on, I got an achievement in everything. Game had to save there. Unless there's like a physical save button, there's not, so... Alright, cool. So, this this game is super neat. I'm really, really happy I decided to play it, so... Hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Cocoon, and I'll see you next time for some more. <laughs> <laughs>